Few experiments in the history of science have puzzled physicists as profoundly as the double-slit experiment. It's a simple setup that reveals a mind-bending truth. Tiny particles don't behave as solid objects should. When unobserved, they act like waves, spreading out and interfering with themselves. But the moment we try to observe which path they take, they instantly behave like particles, choosing a single trajectory. This perplexing transformation, the seemingly instantaneous collapse of a particle's wave function from a state of multiple possibilities to a single reality, stands as one of physics' greatest enigmas, the measurement problem. How does a particle know it's being watched? Does consciousness play a role? Conventional physics brilliantly describes what happens, but struggles to explain why or how this collapse fundamentally occurs, leaving a profound gap in our understanding of reality. At the 11-dimensional model of the universe, we propose a revolutionary answer. The collapse of the wave function is not a mysterious act of observation, it is a fundamental dimensional interaction. Our model reveals how the intricate interplay of 11 dimensions actively orchestrates reality's choices, constantly transforming potential into definite form. Join us as we unveil the 11-dimensional solution to the universe's most famous quantum riddle. Let's revisit the core of the quantum puzzle. Imagine firing electrons, one by one, at a barrier with two tiny slits. Behind the barrier, a screen records where they land. If we simply fire the electrons without any way of knowing which slit they go through, they create an interference pattern on the screen, a series of bright and dark bands, just like waves of water would if you sent them through two openings. This suggests each electron behaves like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously. It exists as a probability wave, spread out across possibilities. Now, if we place a detector, a light sensor for example, at one of the slits to figure out where each electron actually goes, something extraordinary happens. The interference pattern vanishes. Instead, we see two distinct lines on the screen, just as if each electron chose one slit, behaving like a tiny, solid particle. The very act of measuring or observing its path forces it to abandon its wave-like nature and commit to a single trajectory. This is the measurement problem, the wave function, which describes all the possible states of a quantum particle, somehow collapses into just one definite state the moment it's observed or measured. The why and how of this collapse have fueled decades of debate with no consensus in mainstream physics. So, to unlock the secret of wave function collapse, we really need to understand reality through the lens of the 11-dimensional model. In our framework, the universe isn't just atoms and void, it's actually this vibrant interconnected fabric, all orchestrated by a hierarchy of dimensions, especially the two highest and most fundamental ones. The tenth dimension is what we call the expansive deterministic drive. It represents the outward push, the grand cosmic order, and the fixed predictable laws that govern classical physics and macroscopic reality. It's the dimension of definiteness and, you know, those this or that outcomes. The eleventh dimension is the contractive quantum web. It really embodies the universe's inward pull, its fundamental interconnectedness, and the probabilistic, non-local nature of the quantum realm. It's the dimension of potentiality, possibilities, and those intriguing both and states. So, the continuous dynamic tension and interplay between these two dimensions generate the universal wave, the very fabric of reality itself. All matter, energy, and even information exist as unique knots of dimensional resonance within this universal wave. A particle, then, is not strictly a wave or a particle. It's actually a wave knot, a localised energy configuration that inherently embodies both wave-like potential from the 11th dimension's influence and the capacity for particle-like definiteness from the 10th dimension's influence. Right. So here lies the 11-dimensional model's elegant solution to the wave function collapse. It's not a mysterious observation by consciousness. 
but rather a fundamental dimensional interaction where the 10th dimension's deterministic influence locally overrides or fixes the 11th dimension's probabilistic potential. Here lies the 11-dimensional model's elegant solution to the wave function collapse. It is not a mysterious observation by consciousness, but a fundamental dimensional interaction where the 10th dimension's deterministic influence locally overrides or fixes the 11th dimension's probabilistic potential. OK, let's break down the double-slit experiment through this lens. When the electron's wave knot is unobserved, its interaction with the detector is, well, pretty minimal. In this state, the 11th dimension's probabilistic influence is actually dominant. The wave knot exists as a field of probabilities, spread out across multiple possibilities. It effectively explores both slits simultaneously as a wave, which is what creates the interference pattern. The 11th dimension allows it to exist in this sort of both and state. Now, let's talk about the observed state, or what we might call the particle-like reality. The act of measurement or observation by a detector, whether it's a light sensor, an electron screen, or even the vapour in a cloud chamber, represents a strong localised interaction with a highly deterministic system. This detector, being a macroscopic object, is primarily structured and governed by the tenth dimension's deterministic drive. This strong tenth dimensional influence acts upon the electron's wave knot. It effectively forces or compels the wave knot to localize its probabilistic nature. The tenth dimension's definiteness wins at that specific point of interaction, compelling the wave knot to manifest as a single definite particle in a specific location, passing through one slit. So let's revisit the cloud chamber analogy. This concept is beautifully illustrated by placing a cloud chamber in the double-slit experiment. As we discussed, the cloud chamber, by creating a visible trail, always acts as a detector. The supercooled vapour represents a medium with a strong, active, tenth-dimensional influence. Its interaction with the electron's wave knot forces that localization, causing the wave knot to choose a single path and preventing the interference pattern. It's not actually about being seen by a conscious entity, but about the wave knot interacting with a sufficiently deterministic or 10th dimension influenced environment. So, this 11 dimensional solution elegantly resolves the measurement problem, transforming it from a baffling quantum anomaly into a logical consequence of fundamental dimensional dynamics. This 11-dimensional solution elegantly resolves the measurement problem, turning it from a baffling quantum anomaly into a logical consequence of fundamental dimensional dynamics. So, no more so-called spooky action here. The wave function doesn't mysteriously collapse just because of consciousness. Instead, it actually undergoes a predictable dimensional phase transition when the interaction with a 10th dimensional influence detector becomes dominant. What this really shows is that the seemingly paradoxical behavior of quantum particles and the predictable laws of classical physics are, well, two sides of the same coin. They're both governed by the continuous interplay of the 10th and 11th dimensions. The universe isn't just quantum or classical, it's actually dimensionally dynamic. This perspective implies that the universe is constantly making decisions, collapsing probabilities into realities, through the interactions of its fundamental dimensions. Every observation, every interaction, is basically a tiny act of dimensional creation. The double-slit experiment, which has always been a symbol of quantum weirdness, actually finds its elegant resolution within the 11-dimensional model, the so-called collapse of the wave function isn't some inexplicable magic trick, but a profound demonstration of how the universe builds reality. By understanding the dynamic interplay of the 10th and 11th dimensions, we can demystify quantum paradoxes and start to unveil the intricate, active process by which potential transforms into the reality we perceive. This insight, honestly, expands our cosmic map urging us to look beyond the obvious and really grasp the intricate dance of dimensions that shapes everything. 
the universe is full of wonders, both seen and unseen, and the 11 dimensional model is your key to unveiling its most profound truths. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more mind-expanding insights. Your support helps us unlock even more cosmic secrets, so join us on this adventure.